Detectives here at Allegheny County Police Headquarters say they're considering whether it was the weight on the scaffolding that helped it to collapse and send five men 15 feet to the ground. And I think their scaffolding was only set up for about maybe a half hour before it went. This is the section where the scaffolding buckled. Propped against the building at Waleski Transfer, the equipment gave way just as an employee was coming in. My driver they was walking through the lot, uh, seen the last guy fall. So he came in and alerted me, and then I ran out to see what was going on. Greg Salinger, the operations director here, tells me that all five men were visibly hurt. A couple of them were able to move, and a couple of them they did not want to move, so they. They took the paramedics took care of them. Salinger says the men, employees of J and J Roofing, were contracted to resurface the roof here. This was day one. J and J Roofing is a small family business run out of this Vandergrift home. You know, I mean, these are our friends, our neighbors, and I don't know. Denise Fulton lives next door to the owner, listed as Jason Fish. Nick, what's up? Did you get a hold of anybody? Hearing of the fall, Fulton was desperate for information about her friends. We learned that while all five who fell were injured, two of them flown to the hospital, none of their injuries was life threatening. Salinger tells me that investigators are considering weight as one of the factors that caused this scaffolding to collapse. I just hope everyone's okay. I just hope everyone's okay. But Waleski employees and Fish's friends are focusing first on the men who were hurt. Yeah, just just prayers, it. prayers, prayers for them, please. Just hope they're okay and everybody's okay. Investigators tell us none of the injuries is life threatening. However, this investigation does continue. At Allegheny County Police Headquarters, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.